Holy Oh, Cooper goes down! Where's his bike gone? Some photos a mother should not see. <laughs> Hang on, wait for me. I got riding over that. New Zealand produces some of the finest sporting talent on earth. And recently we've witnessed the uprising of some unstoppable cross country mountain bikers. I've come here to Christchurch to meet a man who was the first Kiwi to win both a junior UCI mountain bike world championship and then to go on to take gold in the under 23 category. In 2018, he showed us his health issues were well and truly behind him, coming within inches of taking his first elite World Cup win. Here comes Anton Cooper! Is Cooper going to get his first World Cup win? And almost beating the reigning Olympic champion Nino Scherter in the process. This is a man destined for greatness, and his name is Anton Cooper. Anton Cooper, this is the place. How are you, Anton? How are you? All right, mate. Nice to see you. You all yes, right? Thank you. Yeah, good. Welcome to Crosshairs. You want a, a drink? Oh, a coffee, mate. Coffee. Please. Oh, can't, <laughs> I can't really help you there. Don't have any coffee here, sorry. What? You're the only XC rider I've ever met that don't drink coffee. You must have coffee. Yeah, I get that reaction from <laughs> what? About, about everyone. Yeah, no, I don't have coffee. Like you say, everyone else seems to... To love it. Down, actually. I was looking forward to this because the one thing I thought was I'll definitely get a nice coffee this morning. But no, nah, to me, the, it's pretty horrendous. The taste, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Your career so far, it's been spectacular. I guess it starts really with the first big title, the Junior World Championships in Austria. How did that feel for you? I think it was more a shock for the Europeans and the other races than for maybe myself. For me, it was like a, a progression throughout the years, and I'd had like. I guess a quick ramp up to the international scene, but um, yeah. I believed I could. And for the Europeans, maybe it was more of a shock that uh, in a Kiwi, you know, and yeah. we're unknown in the cross country side of the sport to actually- At that point you weren't. Yeah. No, that's all changed of course, but it's true really. I mean, you're so young still, but I guess it's still disappointing that you haven't made it to an Olympics yet. What, what happened? Because you were the junior world champ. Yeah, Rio was, was a, a massive blow and miss out on that. You know, we had one spot available. I'm going up against a, another world-class rider in, in Sam Gaze. And, well, I couldn't really compete in the qualifying process because of my health. I was always sick. Like, every time I travelled, I'd get sick. Like, had a cold or something? Yeah, it? upper respiratory infection. Oh, it was that something right? that I was always, always getting. So, yeah. so I had to look more in depth at it and then discovered a problem with my adenoids. What are adenoids? It's like kind of the same as tonsils. So, so what do they do? Go in and remove it with a surgeon? Yeah, yeah, they knock you out and they go and scrape them out, essentially. And Is that right? Get rid of all that so, old tissue? Yeah. And how long was recovery for that then? Recovery was pretty quick. But immediately I could tell just through numbers, like even after four weeks training, I was like, man, I'm, I'm so far ahead of where I was before this. And then straight off, I knew it was going to be a good year. A career best elite finish for New Zealander Anton Cooper. It's been a pleasure catching up with you this morning. Yeah, it's been great. Uh, I know you didn't come all this way just to sit around my living room and have a chat, so we're going to take you out and show you around Christchurch. No way! Yeah, absolutely. I think you're going to enjoy it. We'll get out on the scooters and scooters. see a few of the sights. Don't have to pedal them? Nah, it'd be a nice surprise for so you. So down, mate. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty fast, isn't they, really? You can actually hurt yourself in one of these. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a tabletop. Oh. So Rob, I thought I'd bring you here. It's quite a big part of Christchurch's recent history. Um, and I guess a big part of my life as well was the, the Christchurch earthquakes and in particular the one on uh, February 22nd, uh, 2011. 
It was a... <coughs> these are all the people that died. Yeah, it was 185 lives lost. It definitely affected a, a lot of people in different ways. Clearly it was a, a massive natural catastrophe. Did it affect you as a mountain bike rider? Yeah, I was, you know, young at the time and at high school and going through the thick of training for uh, world champs and it had a quite a profound effect and, and also like the areas that I trained on I could no longer ride because was, right. the tracks were ruined and the rock full damage and it was just... What, the mountains had been shook that hard, the rocks had... Yeah. Like really? I've got no I don't know if I can get my head around it. by like a metre and, and stuff like that. What? So, around the coast it's just risen completely so it has altered the landscape a lot. So a lot of the things that a young person would do or enjoy or from my instance with training where we're greatly affected by it. I couldn't bring you to Christchurch without seeing this memorial. I'm glad to have seen it, yeah. To, to witness it, and especially you've seen some of the city. But I'd also like to take you to see my old high school. Back on the scooters. Sounds good. You're getting a fucking speed yeah. wobble on, mate. <laughs> Euro tuck. <laughs> 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 Did you see that? They're not great off-road. Nah. To be honest. <laughs> so this is your school, Anton, eh? Yeah, so I went to high school here. Uh, Crescent Boys High. Yeah. Sending a shiver down your spine being back, or was it all right? <laughs> no, I had good memories here, to be honest. Yeah, I had five, five really good years and um, kind of enjoyed maybe not every moment, but certainly um, the sports and, and the It's the a big sport in school with. looking at that playing field. Yeah, absolutely. It's pretty rugby mad especially and, and cricket as well, um, probably the two big sports. But How did you get on with your studies at school? Did you... Well, I, I did well enough to pass and I guess looking back on it, um, I guess I, I did well to do that because I had to juggle a lot with, with racing, racing World Cups, racing yeah. for a professional team, getting paid to do that. So you were professional when you were at school? Yeah, when I was at high school, pretty which, was, which was pretty cool. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you find yourself at some point questioning what perhaps you were missing out on? It was there was certainly sacrifice in the time you could spend with your mates and, and you knew that they were doing other stuff and um, it all looked like fun. But for me, I was also kind of having a bit of fun doing my, my yeah. stuff and, and yeah. getting results from that and getting rewarded. And So I didn't feel like I missed out on, on a huge amount. I put in a lot of hours and hard work. I'm well aware of that. And now I'm at the point where I kind of have two summers in a year and so life's changed. <laughs> but you also have to deal with suddenly having that kind of two separate lives and live out of a suitcase for six months and travel around to this race and you never really have a, no. a home. And um, it's hard, it's hard to adapt to that, but um, trying to get better at it every year. Yeah. Well, Anton, thanks for taking us around Christchurch. It's been fun on them and thanks for sharing me your school. It does sound like school left you a lot less traumatised than it did me. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna go and find your parents now and have a chat to them and find out what you were like as a kid. Yeah, hopefully they uh, say some good things about me, but we'll find out, I guess. We will. I'll see you later in Talia. Sounds good. <laughs> Didn't really expect to go electric scootering with one of the world's fittest mountain bikers, but I think Anton probably enjoyed it as much as I did. I'm going to go and meet his parents now at the house where he grew up. They're going to tell me what he was like as a kid and how he got into mountain biking. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Cooper, and Anton's mum and dad. I think we are, yep. <laughs> <laughs> Last time you checked. <laughs> I'm Lila. Paul. I'm Paul, yep. Yeah. Hello, Lila, Paul. Um, I've got to ask you, I imagine you've got some photos from back in the day of Anton as a, as a little one. Dig them out. Yeah. Uh, this was Annalise's little bike, but he, he used to ride it off the front step. Until it snapped in two. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. It's broken your bike. He was quite proud of breaking the bike, where she was somewhat <laughs> upset. upset my bike's <laughs> gone. This is when Paul used to go riding with Anton and um, he had this little bike. He smashed me that day. He was so happy because he'd beaten his dad. Nothing like beating your dad, he no, said. Probably nothing like it. I mean, you're probably his oldest riding partner, right? <laughs> is that right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you would be. What's it been like watching him go from smoking you on that climb there, which is the only way to put it, to, you know, being one of the very best Mountain bikers on earth. Well, even on my e-bike, I can't keep up with them. You <laughs> can't, you know. No, no, no. Man, that's bad. <laughs> it is. 
have you got used to his success? I mean, like we've just thrown around world championship titles like they're nothing. He's also been Commonwealth Games gold medalist as well. I mean, it's, it's just been incredible what he's achieved already. Lionel still gets nervous watching replays of racing. <laughs> yeah, and I keep saying, you know he won it. You don't have to stress. <laughs> oh, I can feel my heart rate getting up. Yeah, well, some things I can't watch, you know, when he crashed just last year. And... Cooper again flicking that back wheel round. He's got in a bit of trouble. Oh, Cooper goes down. Where's his bike gone? Oh, man, Cooper can't find it either. So, that must have been a difficult one to swallow. He sent me a photo of it. You know, and not the photo of the crash, but the photo of the injury. Injury, and I said, "Lila, do you want to see that?" And she said, "Some <laughs> photos a mother should not see." <laughs> <laughs> but it's all good, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just to clear that up, everything's fine again now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. We're glad we talked about that. <laughs> Thanks for your time. It's been absolutely yeah. fascinating to chat yeah. to you. Thank you. Great. Thanks for coming to New Zealand. I'm, lo I'm loving it. What a place to be, <laughs> huh? Well, really nice to meet Anton's mum and dad. What fun they are. Not hard to see why uh, Anton is the well-rounded, level-headed character that he is. I'm going to meet him again in the morning tomorrow, and he has promised me a little bit of a treat. So uh, I don't know whether to trust him or not. We'll find out. Well, this is where he's told me to meet him, Anton. Uh, Christchurch helicopters. Not sure how I feel about that. I don't really trust them. Morning. Hey, Rob. How's it going? All right, mate. How are you, Ant? Good. Yeah, someone uh, you should meet here, Richie McCaw. Hello, he's Rich. A, uh, I recognise you. Yeah, he's a part owner and works here at Christchurch Helicopters. Do you? So, um, he's so helped a new gig stuff. these days, yeah. Easier Playing than smashing boot. England on the pitch. <laughs> Yeah, I've said it enough of it, you Probably know. Not as satisfying, <laughs> though. <laughs> yeah, you're going to come for a fly with us? Yeah, I am, yeah. Yeah, I'm a bit nervous, but it's an experience you're never going to say no to, isn't it? Got a brand new pilot on the job for you, too. So <laughs> really oh, happy. awesome. <laughs> First flight, is it? Yeah, great. Oh, no, we're off the ground already. Bloody hell. Look at this thing go. <laughs> Dude, it's mental. Why is it going up and down so much? Oh my god, there's a cemetery below us. That was fantastic. It's the last thing I needed to see. Dude, look at the angle we're banking at. Holy It looks beautiful from here. Holy Toledo, dude, look at it. Mate, that was incredible. Thanks, Anton. Thanks, Travis, for a nice, safe flight. Keep your hands on the controls, mate. <laughs> yeah, survived it. I mean, that was awesome. I do love helicopters, but I won't lie, I do like getting out of them and putting my feet back on terra firma probably even more. Incredible though to see the city from up there, amazing views and we saw the bike park, the forest and the mountains where a lot of Anton's trails are and that is where I'm headed now. Time to go mountain biking with a man himself. All right. How you doing? Not too bad, you? Good, yeah, feeling good. Well, that's bad news for me. What's <laughs> <laughs> so what's in store for us here? Yeah, we're at the top of Victoria Park here, um, which is kind of one of the hubs for a lot of trails here in the Port Hills. Yeah, man. So we're a pretty good spot here. We're ready to have a rip here? Yeah, I'm ready to ride. Let's go. Matrix. 
What the hell? Hang on, wait for me. I'm not riding over that. <laughs> Amazing, eh? What a yeah. trail, innit? I enjoyed that. That's bloody good. I think New Zealand's a country that's got everything, especially amazing mountain biking. It's so good to see. Yeah, we're pretty blessed here. Crush has got so many good spots, different locations to ride and good variations. Yeah, that's yeah. right. A bit of everything. Yeah, I've enjoyed it, mate. It's been amazing hanging out with you. Yeah, good to show you about. 2018 was really good. Is 2019 going to be any better? Yeah, I've got good feelings about it. The pre-season's been great and uh, I feel like We've got promising some good results for 2019, so yeah, on, yeah, step it up a bit. Yeah, mate, it's coming, dude, it's coming. Thanks so much, Anton. Thank you. It's been amazing. Cheers. Nice number plate. I think that says Lycra. Oh, it does, does it? Does it? Oh, does the plate say Lycra? No, it's pretty, um, <laughs> it's only four digits, isn't it? So we got pretty lucky there. Yeah, it's, it's easy good. to remember. Nice, isn't it? Yeah, exactly, dude.